part. This is tough. Santa Fe is Jack Williams' home. I meet a lot of the parents of these things. And, and um, that's because for 18 years, Williams has been traveling all over the country, making these special candles for the victims of mass shootings. Vegas, uh, Sandy Hook, uh, Orlando, uh, I, Sutherland Springs. It's like so, but you know what I ate? We're at the point now it's so many. It's just this time the shooting happened in his hometown. Yeah, but school here all my life, you know, not this one. Mine was at Warpath. As students of Santa Fe High try to understand why the lives of their friends and classmates ended so tragically, Williams gets to work honoring those lives lost with the help of local veterans. I don't put a diet on date on nothing because it's more about when I do meet the families and stuff. It's more about don't focus on the day, but the life they led before this day because they had a good life, you know. And elsewhere tonight, a vigil to remember two of the victims, Chris Stone and Christian Riley Garcia, who both played football for the Indians. Green and gold on display as hundreds were in attendance. Green and gold also seen at the memorial, right next to Williams Candles, which he hopes can provide a light during a very dark time. This is probably the last thing these people will ever have built for them. It deserves respect. And you can see one of those LED candles lit next to the memorial here outside of Santa Fe High School. Teachers will be returning to their class to prepare for students on Wednesday. Students, we're told, are going to return to their class on May 29th. That's next Tuesday. And then, of course, seniors, they'll be graduating. We're learning from Santa Fe ISD on June 1st. Reporting outside of Santa Fe High School, Stephen Morgan, Fox 26 News. I'm on my way. From the chase I'm over here, I'm over here. to their capture. I immediately stopped the vehicle, jumped out of the vehicle, started running behind them. Fox 26 was in Mission, Texas, in the Rio Grande Valley when Border Patrol agents detained seven men. The individuals had just uh, physically made landfall on the, on the U.S. side, uh, probably about 50 feet away from the, the Rio Grande River. Uh, when they saw our vehicle, of course, uh, as soon as they saw us, they ran back south. Agent Carlos Ruiz caught up to the men along the riverbank. The agents say it's their mission to prevent illegal entry into the United States. So they didn't resist, they decided to come with me. The migrants say they didn't know each other and they met along the way. They came from Mexico, Honduras, and Guatemala. Antonio is from Guatemala. He says he'd hoped he'd make it to Houston to be with his three kids and find a job in construction. He began his journey about a month and a half ago and paid 60,000 quetzales, about 8,000 U.S. dollars, to make the trip. Now he says he'll have to tell his children he failed them. Two of the migrants were minors. Agent Daniel Tirado says they admitted to being paid $120 to bring the group across the border. It was very common to encounter subjects that are juveniles or, or uh, underage uh, kids from Mexico that are, are utilized as smugglers. Uh, they try to find the loopholes uh, in the system uh, to avoid being prosecuted. A van to transport the migrants to the processing center was called in. We're now we're going to turn them over to uh, agents to transport to the Border Patrol station, of course, run their, their record checks, uh, run their fingerprints and see what else comes out. The men all seem to understand they'll be heading back to their home country soon. That's the sound of a familiar tune, Rosa Medra, a piece by British composer Ralph Vaughan Williams, last performed at the 1997 funeral of British royal Princess Diana. But this Tuesday evening's performance was part of a tribute concert put on by the Varsity Orchestra at George Bush High School, honoring the late president. In fact, it's just one of a series of dedications happening all week on campus. And now they know this is historical. We're the only school that has his name. Student council members decorated columns and the foyer in red, white and blue ribbon, setting the scene for a tea light candle vigil. But um, we're going to put 41 lights in this area, which, you know, he was the 41st president. You want to go to 50? Come on. Go to Down 50. the hall, members of the Navy Junior ROTC were running through drills as 22 of them were asked by the Bush family to participate in the arrival ceremony at Ellington Field Wednesday. Um, I'm excited 
and I'm honored to be able to go because not a lot of people get to have the opportunity to go to a president's funeral. And much is rightly expected of us. Smiling all the time, happy all the time, seeing with his wife. Master Sergeant Ronaldo Mannings was one of the school's original faculty members. He recalls a funny interaction with a student when George H.W. and Barbara Bush visited the campus when it first opened in 2001. Then they gave Junior a shake, he shook Junior's hand, gave him a hug. Um, the wife gave Junior a kiss, so that was happy. That was a big day for Julian. He was one thing else. That, that was good, yes. So this is 18 years ago and you still remember. Yes, so I do. That's the kind of impact the president had on us. Who's next? For I did. You win this. What do you do with it? There's a whole group of us that do this, and we're going to go on a full vacation all together. Obviously, people always ask you what you're planning on buying. Good luck, sir. Do you plan on giving any way, doing any good with it? What would you, what would you do with the money? Just send to the church and take care of my family, my children, my mother. So you're not worried about Veronica killing you or anything like that and taking the money? That's my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend? You're not worried about Veronica? Good luck, man. I know they're not winners because I'm back here buying another ticket. <laughs> I have 10. I just need to win. W. That's all. You need to win. That sounds like there's like life or death here. Yeah, well, it's always like that, especially when you're in Texas and it's heat. Hey, people need air conditioners, and I can help to buy them. I will. If nobody wins tonight, yeah, it's going to be bigger. I just need a W. I need to win. Everybody needs to what? win.